Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a wedding guest get ready with me makeup and outfit. This was recorded normally and I lost the audio, so you're just gonna get a voiceover today. <laughs> Starting off with the Mineral Veil vale Primer from Hourglass and then going in with the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation in Amarati. I'm using the Quartz Beauty Foundation Buffer Brush to buff this one into my skin. Next up we have some corrector underneath the eyes. This is the little model's own quad of correctors. And then I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. I'm going to place that underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose, forehead and chin just to highlight those areas. And then using the concealer buffer I'm going to buff that all out and blend it in with the foundation. Next up I'm using the Benefit Professional Agent Zero's Shine Powder. I love this powder, it makes my under eyes look flawless. Then setting the rest of my face with the NYX No Filter Powder. Next up we have brows and I'm using my Benefit Cut Brow in number 3. At the end of the tails I'm going to go in with a little darker pencil just to make them really bold. I like doing this for special events and then carving them out with a concealer as well. Moving on to eyes, I'm using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and using that as an eye base. And then going in with the Tarlet Palette. Setting my eye base with the neutral colour Free Spirit before going in with the Colourpop Cosmetics in Wake Up Call. This is one of their single eyeshadows and it's the perfect crease transition colour. So I'm using a nice big fluffy brush to blend that out seamlessly. Then going in with the colour Natural Beauty from the Tartler palette. This is going to turn the look a lot more mauve and cool toned. This is a beautiful mauve colour and I'm just building it up and then blending it out. And then I'm going in with the colour Popular Demand by Colourpop Cosmetics as well. Just focusing that one on the crease. This one's a warm colour but when I blend it out and have it all finished, it will look cool. You'll see how the look comes together. So I'm just popping it on, blending it out, popping it on, blending it out. Going in with the colour Best Friend, now this one is a bit of a deeper mauve colour from the Tartlet palette and I'm going to focus that over the top of where we just put Popular Demand and I'm also going to focus that on the inner part of the lid as I'm going to attempt a halo eye. I've got this Makeup Geek Cosmetics pigment in Afterglow. I've just wet my Lux Shader brush and I'm applying the wet pigment to the centre of my lid. Then what I'm going to do is then take a bit of the darker colours that we were using before and I'm going to blend that out. And then I'm going to go in with Bombshell. Now this one's the darkest kind of purpley colour in the palette and I'm just tapping like a little bit on the outer and inner corners before I go in the lower lash line with Popular Demand and then go in over the top with Bombshell on this tiny mini smudger brush. Focusing more so on the outer edge of the eye and uh, joining that up with the outer corner of the top lid. Then I'm going to take some black gel liner and I'm just going to draw a really thin line across the top lash line as well as the waterline on the top and the bottom. I just wanted my eyes to really pop and stand out and when I do this it does. Now for a wedding make sure you have waterproof mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Architect 4D. For bronzer, I'm using my fave, which is the Hourglass Bronzer. I love this. And just going around the edges of my face, my cheekbones, forehead, jawline, that kind of thing. Before I then go in with this Makeup Geek Contour in Infidelity. And I'm taking that underneath my jawline, working it up through the temples, forehead, jawline, and nose. I'm using the beautiful Milani blush in Luminoso first up. This will give a beautiful glow to my cheeks. And then I'm going in with the Balm Frat Boy blush just to give a little bit more color and pigment to the cheeks. Oh my God, this designer brand's jelly highlight is amazing. 
I am going to wet my face but applying it to the back of my hand and then on a sponge going on my cheekbones. You just have to be careful because it can be a little bit patchy. I would recommend spending a bit of time blending it out with the sponge which is what I'm doing here but it is beautiful. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezi highlight, which will kind of blur everything out anyway. This highlight is absolutely stunning and oh, so perfect. I am going to use the same technique of the jelly highlighter and then Amrezi on the inner corner and brow bone. Here I'm just deciding which lashes to use. I have Sapphire on the left and then Moonstone on the right. These are by Quartz Beauty. I just couldn't decide, but I ended up going with the more dramatic ones because it was Tanya's wedding. So I ended up putting on Moonstone, which are just so beautiful. I love them so much. And then just drawing a line just above them to blend them in. Now for lips, I'm using the MAC Boldly Bare Lip Liner and just drawing the line around my lips and then filling it all in. And then I'm going to use the NYX Talia Lipstick. This is just one of their round lipsticks. I don't even know if they have these anymore. And then going in with a light colored lipstick in the center. So this is Inoxa Peaches and Cream. And then finally going in with a lip gloss. This is a Too Faced lip injection one. So it's like a pinky nude color and it's plumping your lips as well. So there is the makeup look all finished. I love how it turned out. And here's my outfit. So I have this dress from Shopo. It's called the Tightrope Dress in Teal. I've got these shoes on from Atmosphere, which is from The Iconic. My earrings and my bracelet are from Jeanette Marie. I wore them on my wedding day so they're kind of special to me but that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you next time bye lost in the shadows of a million stars shouldn't they in my mind near and far shouldn't they at all just